Fala, Nick Fans! Beleza? Sou Victor Hatba, aqui do canal Nick Fans Brasil. But today, again, uh, me, Victor Hatba, speak just in English because we have subtitles in this interview. And again, né, uh, Nick Fans Brasil Channel receive, né? The super Adam Kester, né? Uh, I love your job, man. I really, really, really happy, né? Bring you again in this channel. Welcome, welcome to the Brazil, uh, to the Nick Fans Brazil channel. Thanks for having me, Victor. Uh, I had a blast last time I was on, and now we have so much more to talk about now that free agency started. So uh, great to be back. Okay, this is uh, the object. Uh, I want to uh, first uh, resume, né? uh, uh, resume about uh, this draft né? uh, in New York Knicks. What's your opinion né? about this draft? Né? Yeah, so the draft, I was a little disappointed at first that we didn't draft anyone. We didn't, you know, we traded the, the pick. Um, I kind of understand that we got some good future draft picks now. We have a couple of protected ones down the line. I just hope we use them in a, in a trade or something. You know, I don't want them to just kind of sit there for a couple of years. And I understand it takes time to find the right trade. But, you know, I was a little disappointed. But who knows what the, what the draft picks could lead to. So we'll, we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, me too, man. Me too. I, I in, uh, uh, in draft, né, this day, uh, so many Brazilians, me, so many disappointed. Né? Next day, I read a letter from Leon Rose in New York Knicks. I understand, né? uh, Leon Rose said in this letter, but uh, I, I, I don't Uh, I disagree, but I understand, man. I understand, né? Leon Rose, né? But, né? <laughs> man, Nix, it's complicated, man. Nix, it's so, so complicated. But I understand. I understand and uh, uh, really, really pray every day to God bless this team, man. <laughs> uh, oh, the second question, né? Uh, I can I can talk with you about né, the free agents, the free agents uh, from the Knicks. Uh, I want your opinion né, about uh, Jalen Brunson, né, this contract, né, this polemical contract, né, um, uh, about to Germany center, né, Hardstein, né. Uh, I want your opinion too. First, uh, I, I want your opinion né, about uh, Jalen Brunson in free agency. What's your opinion about Jalen Brunson and this contract uh, polemical? Yeah, it was a, it's a big contract, right? He's one of the highest paid free agents this year. But I think, I think it's going to be worth it. I think, you know, he's still a pretty young player. He's kind of just about to hit his prime in the next few years. He's 25, I think. Yes, um, yes, 25, 25. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we've been kind of, we've been wanting a point guard for, I don't know how long. I think the last time we had a good point guard. For I me, mean, Derek Harper. <laughs> for <laughs> yeah, me, Derek I mean, Harper like, and Charlie Ward. <laughs> someone, yeah. And it's not disrespect to Derrick Rose or anything, but, you know, a younger point guard who can stay healthy, stay on the court. Um, I don't know, maybe Marbury, like 15 years ago. I don't even know. But it's, uh, we, could, we kind of all saw this coming, right? Because of all the connections between, you know, Leon Rose is Jalen Brunson's godfather, I believe. They just hired his dad as an assistant coach. So there's so many connections. I think we all saw this coming. Um, and I'm, I'm fine with the money because when you really look at it, 
I forget the exact number, but I think with some of those signings now, um, I think he's like the 15th or 16th highest paid point guard, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, yes. He's not a top five point guard in the NBA, but he could be even better than he was in Dallas. He's going to have a bigger role on the Knicks. He could average more points and assists. So I'm very happy with it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, he's a really fun player to watch. Like some of his moves, his his dribbling is is really amazing. So I'm I'm excited to have him. Jalen Brunson, né, in Dallas, uh, played with uh, Luka Doncic, né? Uh, Brunson lived, lived, né, in the shadow uh, from Luka Doncic. In Knicks, not man. In Knicks, not, né? Uh, I hear, né, uh, uh, so many uh, people in Brazil né, and in United States about uh, Jalen Brunson. And uh, in begin, I. <sighs> So sad, <laughs> but né, later here, uh, uh, so many people talk about it, this guy. Uh, I, I, I just think you know, it's a good, it's a good thing from the Knicks, né? because uh, Jalen Brunson, uh, it's a good player, man. It's a good player in, in Knicks. Uh, uh, he can prove, né? uh, 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 uh I, I forgot this word, man. <laughs> um, he can we, uh, he can prove in the Knicks it's a great player, not good player, nah. Uh, and uh, like an all star maybe. Yes, maybe, nah. Uh, and uh, I saw uh, I talk nah, with you in backstage uh, about um, Derek Harper, nah, uh, in in journal talking about. Uh, Jalen Brunson, né? Uh, this guy, Dark Harper, I loved Dark Harper in Knicks, né? In 19, 19 years. And uh, Dark Harper said good things about Jalen Brunson, né? But so, uh, if Dark Harper uh, said good things about Jalen Brunson, I, I, still, I still hope in this guy. Yeah, absolutely. I think you hear it from other players. I'm not sure if you saw on uh, on Twitter. It was, uh, who was it? I saw Ja Morant, um, Desmond Bain, and one other player. I forgot who it was. But they were all talking about how good Jalen Brunson is. Like a, a yesterday or two days ago, they were all kind of talking like, Hey, some of you people who think he got too much money, like you're wrong. Like Jalen Brunson is going to be worth it. So when you hear actual players like Derek Harper, John Morant, guys actually talking about Jalen Brunson, it's a good sign. Ah, uh, I agree. I agree. Great sign. Great sign. Oh, John Morant. I, I don't hear uh, John Morant talking. I in the I'll send it uh, to you. later. Later from this interview, I won't see yeah. <laughs> uh, opinion from Jamora. Uh, and um, I want your opinion uh, too about uh, this new center né? come to the Knicks, uh, Hartstein. Né? Uh, Knicks bring né, from the Los Angeles Clippers. Né? I want your opinion né, about the, the center. Yeah, so Hartenstein. You know, I'm not going to pretend I know a ton about him, but I've definitely followed him a bit on the Clippers this past year. And he has a skill set that I don't think we've had from a center or a big man. Really, like, I can't really think of many bigs we've had who've kind of had his, um, you know, his profile where he can pass a bit, he can shoot. He's more of a stretch guy. Yeah, so we, we never have really had that from our centers. I mean, I'm thinking of, you know, Mitch, Nerlens Noel, Taj. Um, I mean, even in better days, Tyson Chandler. Like, we haven't really had that kind of a center. Um, and it's a two-year deal, so, you know, it's not a long-term deal. But as we know now, he's going to be Mitchell Robinson's backup since we also re-signed Mitch. So I think it could be fun because I think – We kind of saw last year, um, let's say Mitchell Robinson gets hurt or misses some time. 
Nerlens Noel was also hurt and not really getting the job done. Taj Gibson, I love him. I, he's a great guy, but he's just he's too old to be playing big minutes. So now it's almost like we have a good uh, you know, insurance policy. In case Mitch gets hurt, we can play Hartenstein. And when Mitch is healthy, we have two, you know, two young, good centers. So I thought it was a smart move. It's not long term. Um, see what he's made of. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what he's got. Hey, uh, uh, Hartstein in begin is the same for me uh, with uh, comparative with Jalen Brunson. Eh? Uh, in begin. Oh, Hardstein the next side. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, later, né? Uh, I I research about this guy, uh, and another people talking with me about this guy. I I I I I, I saw né, good things, né? Good skills, né? Uh, Hardstein, it's a uh, very good, né? Uh, in three points. Uh, good shooter né, in three points. Uh, I see uh, Hartstein uh, can can be ve very interesting uh, with Jalen Brunson né, because Jalen Brunson uh, like infiltration né, uh, and uh, uh, Hartstein uh, uh, can be uh, create a space for Jalen Brunson in, in infiltrations. Uh, I, I take interesting about this né? in in hard time né? Uh, so uh, I, I I like it Ben later later I like it uh, when research more about the this Germany né? Uh, I like your skills né? Uh, I believe uh, these skills in Knicks from these players, Barrett, uh, Barrett likes né, uh, infiltration too. This, this center, not uh, uh, in center, <laughs> né? Uh, uh, he can can uh, create space, né? In the, uh, I like it because that, né? Because that. So, I believe it can be interesting from the Knicks, man. Yeah, me too. And we signed him before we re-signed Mitchell Robinson. So I was wondering at first, was he going to be our starting center? But I think that he's the backup. Um, you know, it makes sense. And mm -hmm. I don't know what you thought of Mitchell Robinson, uh, his new contract. I, you know, I think it might have been a slight overpay. Uh, I think he's about $15 million a year over four years. So 40 years. Yeah, so even with it, you know, I, I really like Mitchell Robinson. We haven't signed one of our rookies since Charlie Ward, the Charlie Ward curse from, whatever, 1994, I want to say. So, yes. you know what? It's, it's a good sign to see that we're reinvesting in our young guys, giving Mitch another contract. So I'm excited about that. I like it uh, when you and, uh, and others, uh, people's, coming in, in in our channel and talk about Charlie Ward I can <laughs> I can <laughs> I can say I make it an interview <laughs> with Charlie Ward in this channel uh, and about this contract uh, uh, from Hartstein is the same in uh, comparative with Noel uh, eight millions eight millions a year now nah? and for me man uh, Hardstein, uh, it's better comparative with Noel, man. Uh, Noel, I, I forgot the, the uh, this personage, uh, pick a pau, aquele <laughs> horse, horse, uh, in, the, in this row, Noel, ball, <laughs> with Noel, man, uh, man. Man, I'm scared about, uh, 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 with Noel in, in so many games. The ball uh, in, in hand, Noel. Uh, oh, he's going to uh, be gone now, so no no more. It's weird, man. It's very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. I, I remember the, 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 this draw, né? the, this, the, this horse. Uh, 
when I, I, I saw uh, when I saw uh, Noel playing, man. Oh man, oh man. I, I, I prefer I prefer uh, Hardstein than uh, Noel because your skills compared with Noel. Noel, it's a great blocker, great, great, uh, nah, great blocker. But uh, in in offense, uh, in the uh, uh, in the last season, uh, get a bad injury, year. injury, in the worst or uh, very very bad in games nah, before your injury nah, before injury uh, Noel played so 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 bad in X I hope my I hope uh, I believe in Hardstein now but it, it's begin oh it's begin very 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 sad but now I I can see a good future uh, from Hardstein in Enix, man. Yeah, me too. And, and uh, I, I, I want uh, talk with you about. Uh, <laughs> I, I talk with you in backstage, too, but uh, we need to talk because uh, I, I saw the internet, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> a new rumor <laughs> with uh, Donovan Mitchell, man. Uh, do you do 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 you can talk né, uh, about this new rumor about Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, well, we all know where it started, right? Because Rudy Gobert got traded. Um, yes, everyone was instantly saying, "Well, Donovan Mitchell has to be next, right? They're not going to trade for all these draft picks and just keep Donovan Mitchell." And so far, I don't know if you've seen. Uh, Ian Begley's been reporting on it a bit, where he's saying they kind of want, they think they're going to try to keep Donovan Mitchell, build around him, see what happens, but it could pop up later that he's going to be available for trade. I'm predict If I'm just taking a guess, I think it might go up until the trade deadline. Like it won't happen this summer, but if a trade happens, it might be around the trade deadline, but who knows? We don't actually know, right? So, yeah, I, um, look, I'm kind of a Donovan Mitchell fan. <laughs> I, know you're, I, know you, I, know, I know you don't want to do this, but look, I just think with, we have all these extra draft picks, right? And you uh -huh. could say like, you know, we, wanted, we want someone else, like a couple years from now, maybe we trade for... I don't know, Devin Booker or someone else that could be available. But I just personally think Donovan Mitchell would be really good for the Knicks. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because everyone's been talking about this past year, right? He didn't really have – he still had a great year, but I think in the playoffs they didn't do very well. He wasn't kind of his typical all-star that he's been. And everyone's saying, oh, he's really not a superstar. He's just like a good player. But I actually think he is still a superstar. And that just his situation in Utah, clearly there was something wrong, right? Like him and Gobert weren't really meshing well. They were kind of, yes. it just felt like he was kind of in, in his own head. And I think if he got a new start with the Knicks, where he's from, he's from New York. I don't know if yes. everyone always likes to talk <laughs> about that. I always like to talk about this because I actually, I played against him in high school once. Um, wow. He was, he was great back then too. Uh, he dunked on my friend. Um, <laughs> but, wow. uh, but yeah, I would be for a trade if it was centered around draft picks. I'm not trading RJ Barrett at all. That's to me stupid. I would not do that. Even Emmanuel quickly, I wouldn't want to trade. I mean, you have to give up good good things, right, to get someone like Donovan Mitchell. So I would include one of our good young players. I mean, maybe you could put in Grimes or Reddish, a couple of guys, and then just give them, you know, four first-round picks. And then we have, you know, 
if we can keep Brunson, Mitchell, and RJ Barrett, I mean, it's a pretty cool team. And wow. I agree. And we would probably have to, so the salaries can kind of match. We'd probably have to include either Fournier or Randall in the trade just to make it work. So we'd be offloading one of those guys as well. I'm for it personally. Um, but I understand why people are a little scared. Um, no, I like more. it. I like it. Yeah, sorry. I'll say one more thing. It does uh, scare me because he's pretty short. He's 6'1", uh-huh. I believe. And Brunson is also short. So having yes. Brunson and Mitchell, it's a little scary maybe on defense. Um, but I think he's he's still just too cool for me to, to pass up on a trade. No. No man, man, uh, I I like so much and uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell, but I, I I see it's a dream now for the Knicks for me, nah. man. Uh, Donovan Mitchell in Knicks, man, I I can I can jump in the streets screaming Donovan Mitchell in the Knicks in Brazil, people. <laughs> People don't understand nothing, né? Because in Brazil, né? It's soccer, né? Uh, NBA in Brazil, compared with soccer, né? But uh, I, I, I run in the streets screaming, Donovan Mitchell in the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, I want to see this guy. I, 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 I feel this, the Donovan Mitchell wants, né? Uh, come to the Knicks, nah. uh, but I, I need, uh, I need to see uh, from the Jazz uh, how can be nah, the, this negotiation, how how can be possible? Do you understand? From the Knicks, it's a very, very, very interesting. But in the Jazz. Jazz, uh, I I see Jazz uh, bring uh, so many picks né, in these days. Uh, Spurs too. Jazz uh, want uh, rebuild. Jazz want uh, Victor. My <laughs> like, yeah, same name. Uh, the French, the super French in the next yeah. draft, man. Uh, what's your opinion about this? Because uh, uh, Knicks uh, have uh, a pick yet uh, can be used né, in the in this negotiation. Uh, what's your opinion? Because uh, uh, needs uh, be interesting from Jazz too. In your opinion, how can be possible uh, from the Jazz? Not the Knicks from the Jazz will be interesting. Uh, uh, this negotiation, yeah. I think, I mean, the Knicks they have, I think, the Thunder are the only team with more future draft picks than, than the Knicks. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. we have about three in first round pick. I mean, some are protected, we have some extras mm-hmm. next year. We have the one, we have an extra one in 2025. Um, so we have draft picks to trade. So, you know, that's why I'm saying that I would be for the trade because, I mean, let's say we get, it, it's before the draft, let's just say, hypothetically, it's 2023, the draft of Victor, Wenbanyama, and we have four draft picks, or maybe we have two or three because of the protections. Like, we're not draft we don't want to bring in three new rookies or something like that like we have no room for that so we i mean we're getting these draft picks i think so we can trade them and what you're saying about the jazz i think they're definitely trying to rebuild um Mm -hmm. you know they're just tearing it down and getting draft picks and you know we've seen danny ainge their new uh you know their new president uh He's done this with the Boston Celtics before, mm-hmm. uh, where he's traded away players to get draft picks, and he rebuilt the Celtics. So I think he's going to do the same thing with the Jazz. And, you know, with Donovan Mitchell, it could be a hefty price because Gobert got, what, three unprotected first round picks. So we probably have to trade a few unprotected firsts. And, 
you know, like I said earlier, I think, I don't think it's going to happen this summer. I think it might go, I think we're going to be reluctant to do that, but we're going to kind of try to drive the price down a little bit and wait till the trade deadline. But, you know, we'll see because like you said, they may just want to be the worst team in the league and tank so they could get Victor. Uh, (laughs) We'll have to see. Uh, man, uh, these days, nah, uh, when Murray from the Spurs prefer Hawks, man, uh, in my Instagram, nah, in our Instagram, Nick Fans Brazil, I saw Knicks, thank the Knicks, thank you, thank you, man. So, okay, no one, no one wants to go to the Knicks, man, thank you, thank you. I I so 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 angry in in this day, man. Uh, so, but the Knicks, are, uh, I don't believe in your history. Uh, Knicks uh, won't stunk because uh, people in New York depression, nah, uh, media. I don't believe never Knicks wants that. In my opinion, okay, in my opinion. And uh, but uh, I saw these moves né, with Jalen Brunson, Hartstein. I don't, uh, I disagree uh, a little, né? but uh, because the contract, uh, I, I hear your opinion and so many people, but uh, I, I, I just, uh, I just uh, think. This contract, it's complicated, man. But I, I want Jalen Brunson, uh, uh, okay, a great future in Knicks. Okay, I want, I want, but uh, uh, uh and uh, Knicks uh, see other teams uh, moves great, great moves. Atlanta Hawks, Boston Celtics, né? Uh, And uh, I, I, I still uh, worry uh, with Heat. Heat uh, have né, um, I think I, I interesting in Donovan Mitchell too. Heat, in the past, I remember, I remember Pat Riley uh, brings to the Heat uh, Alonso Morning. I remember Knicks Knicks uh, uh, in nine years, uh, uh, he won the uh, moves with uh, Charles Oakley, John, John Starks, and uh, another player I don't remember now. Hit, hit win. And now, Pat Riley, <laughs> interesting, in the other family, I. I I know. Do you understand? Do you understand? Pat Riley, Pat Riley, it's very strong in negotiations. It's very strong, man, in negotiations. Hit no, man. Hit no. Hit no. I want Donovan Mitchell in Utah or Knicks. Not hit, man. Not hit. Do, do you see about this? Uh, the interest in, from Miami in Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, I think they want another star player. And they'd probably have to trade, you know, Tyler Hero, draft yes. picks. Um, so they, they could make it happen. But no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Hitch, no. Maybe they'll go after Kevin Durant now instead. <laughs> It's the worst, man. That's not <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. man, uh, man, this channel from the Knicks, okay, but uh, you, you, you talk now about uh, this free agents is so crazy. Two hours before with uh, um, uh, Duran, what's your opinion about that? It's crazy. I mean, I was joking with some friends, like if you told me you know, two months ago, maybe in like, in like April or May, that it would be a crazy free agency. I wouldn't understand it. Like (laughs) the only free agents were like Jalen Brunson, maybe some contract extensions. 
But now Kevin, first there was Kyrie, whatever was going on with Kyrie Irving. Now yes. Kevin Durant is asking <laughs> for a trade. It's insane. And I don't know like what the trade package could be to get him. Because it's going to be more, way more than Gobert. And Gobert was three unprotected firsts. I'm hearing they yes. want they want an all-star player, a really great starter, and then bottomless draft picks. So I don't even know what could it could be. I'm, I mean, I think everyone talks about the Phoenix Suns as maybe that's where he wants to go. Maybe they but trade. Sun, but Suns want a uh, Booker. Alias, yeah. uh, but, What's the but point Nets of doing that? Wants a Booker. Yeah, like they, they're not going to trade Booker. They would have to... If the yes, Suns do uh, make the trade, it would have to be like Aiton, Bridges, and like every draft pick they have, basically. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe he stick... Maybe Brooklyn just says, like, no. And he's stuck in Brooklyn. I really don't know what's going to happen, but... It's going to be one of the biggest trades in NBA history if he gets traded yes. for the return. It's going to be I agree. insane. Yeah. But but it's funny because uh Irving resigned one yeah. day to <laughs> re- <laughs> ask I want out. I want trade. I want to leave this team. Uh uh I see uh, Duran and Ar- Irving Uh, do you understand? Uh, uh, apparently, uh, Duran uh, won't go out uh, from the net because of Irving. But I, I hear um, uh, rumors the Lakers uh, want uh, two guys, Duran and Irving in Lakers. But the Lakers wants everybody. Everybody is... Uh, playing in the Lakers, it's funny, man. It's and funny. they have nothing to Knicks. trade. They have no good <laughs> yes. young players or draft picks. Like, <laughs> yes, uh, just older men's like me, man, in the Lakers, man. <laughs> just, just, nah. Uh, uh, another team uh, get uh, Duran. In my opinion, will be enter in a win because. Uh, for bring Duran, so many players, uh, picks and uh, Metso Square Garden, uh, <laughs> Nick's uh, Nick's trade Duran, uh, give him Metso Square Garden, uh, because I can't even man, imagine it's complicated, man. It's complicated, uh, uh bring uh, uh, Duran in an- another team. I heard rumors Duran, uh, back, uh, for example. Uh, in in the Warriors, but I don't I don't believe in in, in that. Nah. What's your opinion? What what uh, uh, happened in Durant in the future? Your opinion? What I think is going to happen? Yes. I, I mean, I think he's going to get traded, but I think it might not be for maybe a month or two, maybe till the start of the season. Because they can't just whip together a trade really fast for him. I mean, they have they have the power. They he signed a contract. He's under contract with the Nets still. Like whatever, regardless. So they're gonna want an incredible trade package for him, as as we were just talking about. Like they're gonna want an All Star player, draft picks, yes. another good player. Um, and as of now, they still have Kyrie. Like it's such a mess. They like Ben Simmons. Who the who knows what's going to happen with him? <laughs> like exactly. it's a disaster. Exactly. It's a disaster. So <laughs> I I like this disaster. Sorry, oh, I like I it. it. Sorry, Nets. I love it. I love it too. Don't worry. I am loving every moment of this disaster. Uh, but yeah, it's like they they had so many things happen this season that were unpredictable, and I think. I think Durant is just tired of it, but it's interesting to me because, you know, I think a big part of him going to the Nets in the first place was that his business, you know, the 35 Ventures, his, um, you know, his partner, Rich Kleiman, they're set up in New York City is where their office is. And he has his show, the et cetera. He has, you know, other investments in New York. So 
I assume he'd yes. want to stay close, but maybe it doesn't matter anymore. And I just don't know what he wants. Like, he was the one in the first place to team up with Kyrie Irving. They they wanted this together, and they just completely ruined it. Like, I don't even blame. Mm-hmm. I don't. I hate the Nets, but I don't blame Joe Tsai and their organization really. Um. So what is going to happen with Durant? I mean, I think he gets traded, but I don't know where. Like Phoenix, like they're not going to trade Booker. No. I don't know where else yes. he could go, really. Miami that could be able to I trade don't him. Believe. No, Miami do you Heat, think? I don't believe. Do you think that they would trade him in the division to the Celtics if they could get Jalen Brown? Marcus Smart, a ton of draft picks. No, 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 no. Not to Revo. <laughs> Not. No, no, no. <laughs> the worst. The worst, I man. Know. The worst. <laughs> I know. But, man, my smart, uh, do you know uh, the funny in the in history? Uh, imagine uh, Duran not trade. Stay in that. I think it's, it's could... the new, it's the new Ben Simmons in that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Durant, exactly. Durant, it's not like the same Ben Simmons in 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 our attitude, no? But it's it's funny, man. <laughs> it's the new Ben Simmons with Ben Simmons in the nets. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a mess. It really is. But yeah, I mean, I can I can't really think of any team I've ever seen be in this situation um (laughs) so we'll see i mean it's like we said it's gonna be it's gonna be if he gets traded it'll be one of the biggest trades in nba history for sure so Uh, no okay Uh, and finally uh you can do you can uh say it for us uh if there are new rumors in free agency from the knicks now or just uh donovan mitchell these contracts now with uh, Jalen Brunson, uh, Hardstein, or Mitchell Robinson uh, resigning uh, with the Knicks. Uh, exist uh, another rumors uh, from the Knicks in New York? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be too much left. I think one thing I feel like people haven't really been talking about, but is possible, is R.J. Barrett getting his extension. Um, uh uh-huh. Because you saw just this morning, actually, Darius Garland got a max con- uh, extension, and he's from the same draft as Barrett. So well, Barrett's Barrett's eligible. Um, I don't see. I don't know if he's going to get the max, but uh-huh. they they could lock him up this off season. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, they might wait. It's. I don't think it's really a dangerous situation. I think they. I think they want Barrett, and RJ wants to be with the Knicks. So we'll see what happens with it. And if there's any other trades, I mean, I've been hearing that they might try to offload a Fournier or Randall, try to just figure something out where, you know, they get rid of one of them. Maybe they, they include a younger player like Reddish or someone who hasn't really played. Um, I don't know what the return would be, but it could free up some playing time for Obi Toppin or Grimes or Quickly. Um, so, you know, that, it's, that one's kind of hard to, to really know what's going to happen because it's hard to predict, like, what his value is, Randall or Fournier, really, at this point. So um, we'll see. But I think the big, the big signings are all done. Um, if anything, it's going to be some trades. So let's we'll have to buckle up and, and see. We've got a few weeks in July and got all of August. I mean, we've got plenty of time. Who knows? I hear the rumors. Uh, I, I ask you, né? because I, I hear né? So, uh, you you talk about uh, these rumors, but uh, I hear uh, one too uh, about um, Derek Rose, uh, Milwaukee Bucks uh, rumors about uh, incluent uh, Derek Rose. Do you hear about this rumor? Yeah, or, or clickbait, or clickbait. 
No, I mean, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's definitely something. I uh, especially now that we have Jalen Brunson, uh, it's tough. No, no, because... no, 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 uh, <laughs> I no. Though I like I so much Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose uh, in rotation with uh, Jalen Brunson. Nah? It would be great. It would hmm. be. I just uh, <laughs> I think it depends what they can get back for him. I don't really know what Derrick Rose's value is either, but. Um, Mm-hmm. When he's healthy, he's still so good. So yes, some team, some team could really use him. I'm sure, but I don't think they're in any. They're not rushing to trade him. I will say that I don't think uh, it's a priority. Uh, I can, uh, here in Brazil, I ask it to you because so many people all hurry about this. People don't, don't, don't go, don't go, né? Because you, you talk, <laughs> né? Uh, Derrick Rose, uh, safety, né? Uh, playing well, uh, not injury. Uh, it's a great player, great player. Not comparated with uh, uh, in Chicago Bulls, né? Your no, but... your your begin, né? In the this career, but uh, man, I like so much. I like so much Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, it's it's very important uh, with younger players. Do you me- remember, né? Uh, Derek Rose helped so much. Uh, Obi Taupin, uh, Emmanuel Kikley, né? and uh, 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 not, not last season, but uh, uh, another season. Né? Obi Taupin playing so much, so much better compared with Randall in, uh, in playoffs. Né? I, I, I say, né? with you, uh, Randall Popcorn né? <laughs> in playoffs. And Obi Topi, né, play well with uh, Derrick Rose, né. Uh, but uh, it's complicated because Derrick Rose uh, have have né available in, in, in this league, né. But uh, I I I just uh, think uh, Derrick Rose important in in this team, uh, de- developing né uh, new players. And uh, Taj Gibson uh, for me. Uh, uh, will be uh, work in head coach uh, with coaches né, in the Knicks in front of not playing uh, for me Too older, older. <laughs> yeah nah, nah. Uh, I believe Taj Gibson uh, working uh, with Chips uh, it's a uh, Rick Branson uh, will be better from this team uh, compare it uh, playing in Knicks, no, it's my opinion, man. It's my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. I think Taj could be a great coach. Um, yes, yes. He's, you know, with Hartenstein signed now, there's really not too much room for him to play, anyways. Um, and yeah, Derek Rose too. I mean, say what you want, but he's he's a leader. He's everyone really respects him. He's He's such a famous. I mean, he's a legend. He's he's a yes. legendary basketball player. Yes. He brings that kind of aura to the team. So, I would love to have Derek Rose stay. I mean, yeah, it'd be having Brunson and Rose and quickly. I mean, those are all great guards. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. It could be. It could be nothing. We'll have to find out. Man, I I really 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 happy with you in this channel, man. You are man, you're a great guy, man. You're a great no, guy. I love that. I always have fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I I I like your job, and I I I I I saw for you, né, in backstage, uh, and uh, it's very important for us. Uh, bring you and another channels, uh, journalists, insiders, né? uh, because uh, uh, Brazilians can be uh, few uh, close with the the New York City, with uh, the New York Knicks, the rumors. Né? Uh, it's very important, man. It's very important uh, for us. And uh, I like you, man. I like you. I hope uh, meet meet you uh, when this channel uh, make a trip né, from New York. Uh, it's a great, great, great honor for us. You, né, Adam Kester from Daily Knicks. Né? People, uh, uh, follow 
Daily Nix, ok? People follow, né? Daily Nix aí, ó. It's a great job, né? Uh, with other caster. Uh, Jordana, né? Jordana. Yeah, Jordana runs the website now. I'm just, uh, I'm just a writer now, but, you know, if you check out my other stuff, uh, at Whistle Sports, I don't know if you've seen it, but I do a lot for them now. Um, but, you know, I'm always writing, tweeting, posting about the Knicks, so. Seriously, Victor, it's, This channel is awesome. Like I've been watching your other interviews. You've really been on fire, killing it. Um, <laughs> seriously, it's it's uh, it's always fun to come on here. So you know, I, thanks again. Seriously. Uh, you you see, oh, my English uh, will be better day by day, man. You you it see, already, you see. I think it's getting better every day. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Eden. Thanks so much again. Thanks so much again. And uh, very, very, very success for you, né? Uh, God bless you so much, né? Uh, I like, I like so much to bring you in this channel, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, we'll talk again soon, and uh, we'll have more to talk about in the next few weeks, I'm sure. Okay, man. Take care. Take care. Uh, and people, né? See the, the this interview. Thank you so much uh, too, né? And and oh, subscribe in Nick Fans Brazil if, and follow Adam Kester and Daily At, Nick. Adam Kester. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I I was just it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Thanks so much, guy. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see. Take care. Next next interviews. Bye, bye. E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do all you down.